Khomeini's and has been for a very long time, but since the advent of the Ayatollah Khomeini, sometimes called the Iranian Revolution of 1979, I would say myself the Iranian counter-revolution since the entire uh, people of Iran and every layer of Iranian society took to the streets to overthrow the Shah, only to find that their revolution had been taken from them and hijacked by a clerical caste who then used violence against all those who had uh, helped them to overthrow the Shah and imposed a dictatorship of their own. I believe that's more better described as a counter-revolution than a revolution. There was a revolution anyway. But ideologically, the version of totalitar totalitarianism I'm talking about here has a religious name. Unlike Iraqi, Iraqi Baathism or Kim Il-sungism, it has a directly mainstream religious name. It's called the Velayati Faki, the, the guardianship of the jurist or the cleric. Originally invented to say that orphans, uh, children, mad people, uh, lost people were to be looked after as wards of the state. Khomeini decided that this velayat should be extended to everybody. Everyone in Iran is now considered to be a child with a paternal authority vested in the Guardian Council and the Supreme Leader. And they're, they're, they should, they're supposed to be grateful that they can never uh, for a moment, uh, not be afforded this wonderful protection. Uh, the father who will never go away. Um, the father who will never quit caring for them. Um, it's ironic, I think, that this should be the case in, in Iran, and I think that those who proposed the idea and kept it going for the last two decades failed to notice something exactly to do with paternity. <clears throat> the Iranian people lost we think at least a million, maybe a million and a half young people in the terrifying war that they waged with Saddam Hussein. Um, in order to make up the numbers, after this very depleting war, the Ayatollahs promised Iranian mothers very large subsidies if they would breed more children, which they did. Um, if you had a large family, four or five, you would get a great deal of state subsidy. The, the consequence is what I call a baby boomerang. There are now, we think, probably more than 50% of the Iranian population is under 25. And it's rather outgrowing the tutelage of parenthood. Um, and so the mullahs have, by accident, by unintended consequence, brought about a generation that doesn't like them. In particular, in particular uh, among the females. So that the moment is coming, I think it may already in fact have come, when the velayat will no longer work.